Bienvenidos a México. Mexico. Today we go to Dior. It's a Dior Cruise Collection for 2024. Butterflies everywhere. With contributions by local artisans, Maria Gracia Curie explores the craft, traditions and rebellions of the Mexican heritage. Everything is really Mexican. The models are in a state of ecstasy. It's so beautiful, I want to cry because I'm from here. Maria Gracia Curie dances with her daughter Raquel Regini during the show. Alicia Keys, Leticia Casta, Suela Jacob, June Kim. Lena Mafouf and Sebastian Fried in their Dior Cruise debut. Mais bonjour, bonjour. Déjà, déjà, bonjour. <laughs> Ça va ou quoi? Moi, je check, tu vois. <laughs> Maria Gracia Curie breaks down her collection and her vision. A Mexican interpretation of the new look. The finale is as moving as it's political. Hello, I'm Luc Prigent. Subscribe to my channel to see everything about fashion, the d -d 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 Dior and the blockbusters, museum visits and upcoming designers. Leave a comment about your favorite outfit. You can watch all my other videos and share this one with your friends for their mental mood board. Bienvenidos al fashion show de Dior en México. This one was filmed by Julian Acosta and of course we compensated for his carbon footprint. The Dior fashion show takes place in Mexico, in the Colegio San Ildefonso. A very romantic choice, as this is the place where artist power couple Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera met in 1922. I choose this place because uh, I think they are both uh, so important uh, in the history of this uh, incredible country. Mexico has a huge tradition of women artists and women photographers that are unbelievable. I am really happy to be here because it's part of the heritage of the house because in any case Mr. Dior went here in 54 and they make a three month tour around all the city of the South America. The first city was Mexico City. Guests arrive, walls of flowers, and Naomi Watts. Lena Mafouf and Sebastian Fried, the French power couple. J'ai une info un peu romantique sur ce lieu. C'est ici que Diego Rivera et Frida Kahlo se sont rencontrés pour la première fois. Non C'est vrai Ça sent l'amour ce soir, ça sent l'amour. Écoute, j'ai l'impression qu'on s'est rencontrés deux fois devant. Wow, une drague ou quoi devant tout le monde C'est fou. C'est qu'on est vraiment bien mariés quoi, donc. Euh... De fou. Doucement. J'ai essayé d'être mode. 120 models, 45 of them are Mexican. They actually can't wait for the show to begin. I see a lot of Mexican models. That's like something that warms my car, showing the Mexican beauty. Not just like the Mexican textures and butterflies and Frida Kahlo. Like the beauty of Mexico is always the people too. Like a Mexican, I'm proud. Yeah, it's a dream. It's my first ever show. No way. Yeah, it's, it's my first show. My first ever show. And, and it's a job show. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but also I'm really, really excited. So well, you're gonna kill it. Thank you, you very amazing, much. So Thank it. you so much. It's less than one minute before the show pressure. What are you doing? You know. Just lying on the gas. <laughs> the show's about to start. Stand by for music. <laughs> show producer Alexandre de Betac starts the countdown. Three, two, one, go. First look, Mexican model Celic Dorig opens the show. En el momento que me dijeron te vas a México, una estaba muy feliz porque sabía que iba a, iba a ver a mis papás, que iba a estar otra vez en mi país. También es obviamente el hecho cuando también me dijeron que iba a abrir el show, estaba muy emocionada, pues porque es mi país. Valentina Navarrete wears a butterfly necklace. Butterflies are special, very special in Mexican cultures. Christian Dior is a very superstitious house and Maria Grazia Curie loves special symbols. 
Butterfly is a metamorphosy, something that means to transform yourself. I think fashion helps to transform people, to create what you want to be in the world. Also in this country are very celebrate butterfly, the day of the died, because it means that you're a bird. And I think that is a beautiful message. The butterfly as a symbol of transformation, fertility, freedom, creativity and hedonistic fragility. Butterflies in the hair. Belt buckles with butterfly motifs. Butterfly with pearls as rings. Papillon géant sur le torse. Butterflies everywhere. Butterfly is the soul of their ancestors. So it's a symbol very important in Mexico. It's something very spiritual for, for us. Some butterflies here come from an archive print used by Marc Bouan where he was at the helm of the House of Dior. Je pense qu'on n'est pas sur un clin d'œil au tatouage en bas du dos des années 2000, mais plus sur le, le renouveau. Maria Garazia Curie plays with black. Lots of black. What do you think of your dress? I love it. It's like my favorite part of the collection. <laughs> How does it feel to do a show in Mexico? How does it feel? It feels fucking insane. Sorry, my language. No, it's <laughs> no it feels good because, you know, good weather, good vibes. And Dior always takes care of their bodies. Le tailleur bar façon mariachi. Me encanta la chaqueta, me, la, o sea, la amo, siento que es muy de la cultura mexicana. Es muy mariachi, me encantan los mariachis. The new look by Narci Areli Morales and Rocinante, which had the mission to redo the tailleur bar, the initial hit of the 1947 Dior First Collection. I'm really proud that we realize it's the old silhouette with the embroidery of Ahaha, that is an area that is very strong and very well known for their capacity. We want to promote a lot of our collaboration with all the artisans and community that made some piece with us. Pueblan savoir-faire, Mexican colors, green, white and red, the Mexican flag colors. The local textile workshop Yol Central weaved a lot. It's a matriarchal symbol as usually only women used to weave in Mexican culture. But we met Helen Cruz. He's a young weaver who collaborated with the Parisian ateliers. Bueno, hemos trabajado varias técnicas. Eh, uno de ellos es el bordado, el penado ilvan, que es el conteo de, de puntos sobre una tela para generar una iconografía. Creo que María Gracia ha observado la calidad de nuestro trabajo, el, la propuesta que tiene México. Es a super young, that is super talent. He want to maintain this tradition for the future, and there was a very interesting conversation between us. A traditional Mexican skirt called the Wipil, with an empire waist and rich embroideries. Well, I really like my outfit. I'm proud to be here to represent my, my culture. <laughs> Local artisans worked intensely on this collection. Une chemise traditionnelle par Ilan Cruz. Hats are signed by the local Moreno family. They were actually made here in a wonderful atelier in north of Mexico City, which is also the hat town of the Americas. We gave it that French touch because they never have gros grain on the side of it. So we tried to also reference like a French canotier, a French boater. So it's a little mixture of France and Mexico. Lace, animal prints, the local fauna are represented. Lots of cowboy boots with clouds of typical stitching and coral microbeads. Les Santiago que j'ai adoré, les choix des matériaux, la transparence, j'ai trouvé ça très beau. On the mood board, you find Mexican architecture references like this Casa Azul blue or this Luis Barragan pink. Also on the mood board, women artists who help define Mexican culture, like novelist, culture painter and face of the Mexican surrealism, Leonora Carrington, and her interest in all things occult, mythology, witches, tarot reading, magic, love, destruction. All the Maria Grazia Curie Cruz collections for Dior have a strong cosmic aspect. Relationships to traditions, relationships to the mother nature, to elemental and shared shapes. The goddesses of everywhere, whether they are Greek or African, North African, Spanish, Mexican, Italian, a sense of community, sharing cultures. 
I really like the spirit of the magic world that is Mexico and like it was inspiring also for surrealism. I really appreciate to visit the studio of uh, Eleanor Carrington here in Mexico City. And also on the mood board, Uber Muse, Uber artist Frida Kahlo, whose wardrobe is strongly influencing Maria Grazia Curie. She, for me, is the most important uh, women artist in the world. She really spoke about the relationship with the body, with the, like to represent yourself with, with the clothes. Uh, I think uh, that it's impossible to work in fashion and not to think about uh, hair. Frida Kahlo and her poetry, her fierceness, the fight against patriarchy, the suits, the cocoons to protect her broken body. This is very much a case of what would Frida do and let's do it. So there are shawls or rebozo like Frida Kahlo used to wear. Grey suits as elegant as a political referencing the suits worn by Frida Kahlo as a provocation. Frida Kahlo is absolutely central to this show. Her freedom to represent herself, her art, her life, her gaze, her poise, her fights. What do you think of your outfit today? It's beautiful. I know it's inspired in Frida Kahlo and I'm a huge fan, I've always been, so it feels a honor. What do you love about Frida Kahlo? I love uh, her art. It's so beautiful, pure and at the same time so raw and heavy and dense. So yeah, her art and how true to herself she was and a strong woman. Super special finale. Models all stand wearing dresses that address the systemic mistreatment of women, especially in Mexico. Confido in te. The dresses are toiles from archive designs of the House of Dior. Elina Chauvet is an artist, and Maria Grazia Curie gave her authority for the finale gowns. The theme of violence and feminicides in Mexico es un tema que eh, destroza el corazón de la sociedad. Espero que esta noche, al ver estos vestidos, y todo el público, todas las personas que lo vean, eh, pues sientan esta, esta emoción. ¿sí? Viva ma vida, hope, run, scissors, a knife cutting a rose, hands holding lips, caricatures of housewives and a stop sign. This is an homage to Pipa Baca, an Italian performance and feminist artist. She was murdered in 2008 as she was doing a trek, an odyssey for peace, wearing a white wedding dress. The artist Elina Chauvet asked 16 embroiderers to work on this project called a Corazon Abierto, open heart, a cœur ouvert. It's very emotional, it says a lot of truth that it's not told. The dresses have a really strong message and I really like that. I think it's very important. It's very emotional. A human heart and its arteries and Yo soy mia, je suis à moi, I am mine. Maria Grazia Curie takes a bow. C'était très beau cette espèce de d'armée de jeunes filles, très douce et à la fois qui arrive, qui se positionne super forte et pour donner un message mais tellement important. Le final était incroyable. Je veux dire, je pense que le brain a fait tout plus parfait. Tout a fait sens. Tout a fait plus beau quand les modèles étaient walking. C'était très émotionnel aussi. Je suis juste là et je me suis dit, je ne peux pas croire que je suis ici. Alicia Keys dancing in front of photographers. Can I ask you how was the show? Nous aimons le show. Le show est spectaculaire. Je veux dire, stunning, 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 breathtaking, stunning. We want all the pieces. <laughs> what, what did you notice in the collection? Everything. I've noticed the silhouettes, the ponchos, the influence of Mexico City and Mexican culture. I love the lines, the embroidery, the color. Le premier défilé croisière de Sébastien Fri, qu'avez-vous pensé? Eh bien, écoutez, j'ai trouvé ça très bien. Le lieu, le contexte, euh, les vêtements. Seb découvre le prêt-à-porter. Ouais. Il m'a dit, mais ça, c'est des choses que tu pourrais porter demain. Et je lui dis, oui. C'est ça la force de Maria Grazia, c'est que tout est très portable. Costume trois pièces, enfin achevez-moi tellement c'est beau et c'est bien structuré. 
Qu'est-ce que vous avez pensé de ce final C'était vraiment puissant, sans même voir encore ce qu'on a vu. Nous, on ne les a pas vus de près, ces robes, comme vous avez pu les voir avec la belle caméra de Julien, de la team Loïc. Mais euh, en fait, les gens qui regardent cette vidéo ont plus vu que nous ce qu'on vient de voir. Ouais, Donc on n'a pas pu s'attarder sur les détails, mais on sent qu'au-delà du vêtement, il se passe quelque chose de bien plus politique. Voilà, this was our John Report from Mexico. Thank you, Julien, for filming this on your own. Subscribe to my channel to see everything about fashion. You can watch all my other d -d 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 Dior extravaganzas. From Maria Grazia Curie to Kim Jones for menswear and even Victor de Castellan for high jewelry. Write about butterflies in the comments if you got till the end. Cheers!